So in less than 24 hours, the 2023 NBA postseason will begin with the play-in tournament. And there are a lot of interesting storylines heading into this year's playoffs. You got the Sacramento Kings clinching the third seed and making the playoffs for the first time since 2006. The Cleveland Cavaliers clinched the fourth seed behind the talent of Donovan Mitchell, making their first playoff appearance since 2018. Golden State, the defending NBA champions, dropping all the way down to the sixth seed. And it's just a lot going on. But let me just say this. You have all of these teams that are inexperienced, damn it. Inexperienced, and it's really only four teams that really have a shot at winning the NBA title. They always gaslight it and smoke screen it and make it seem as if all these teams, 16 teams, one NBA champion. No, it's four teams, one NBA champion. And I'm going to tell you why in this episode of the Sports Minute. So gear up. Let's be honest. The first round of the NBA playoffs is a big deal if you're a new team trying to make it. But if you're the Milwaukee Bucks, Boston Celtics, Denver Nuggets, Phoenix Suns, Golden State, any of those teams, the real playoffs begin when you make it to the conference semifinals. I'm going to just be honest. Does that make sense? Maybe not to you, but let me explain what I mean. Let's take a look at the West. That big matchup, that number three, Sacramento Kings versus the number six, Golden State Warriors. All of these years have gone by, almost 10 years since Steph Curry won his first NBA championship. Matter of fact, Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Andre Iguodala, Klay Thompson, and you still doubt the Warriors. You still doubt Golden State after they've shown you what they can do time and time again? Just because they fell to the sixth seed, y'all still ain't got sense enough to know that the playoffs are a different animal? And you have a team that's never been here before versus a team that's won four NBA titles and has been down this road a hell of a bunch of times? Come on, man. No. No. I don't think Sacramento can knock off Golden State. If they do, it ain't going to be that easy. Trust me. Because they've been here before. They've been here before. I hear people all the time say, Golden State's run is over. Golden State's run is over. No, it's not. You want it to be over. You get on your knees and you pray that their run is over. If you're a Golden State Warriors hater, just say that. If you're tired of seeing Golden State win, just say that. You're looking at the big three, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green. They're all going to be Hall of Famers. I'm sorry, I just don't, I would not be surprised if Golden State came out the West, even as a sixth seed. They battle injuries, Steph Curry hasn't been healthy, they haven't had their best chemistry, which what, which is what we're used to seeing. They, they got it back, and they're playing as the sixth seed, but that don't mean nothing. That don't mean a damn thing. It's more pressure on Sacramento than it is Golden State. And I can guarantee you that. Then in the first round, the other big matchup I'm looking at is the 4-5 Cav and the Knicks matchup. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sold on New York. Tom Thibodeau has a tendency to burn out his players. Burn out his players. They needed a point guard a couple of years ago when they got smacked by the Hawks. Let's just be honest. Now they've got it. Let's see what happens. And, I, and you might not agree with me, but I've said it before. I will say it again. New York needs to beef up that bench to really have a chance to compete. Really have a chance to compete. There, I said it. You disagree, don't argue with me. Argue with somebody else. I'm going, I'm going with the Cavs in seven. No, I take, yeah, I'm going Cavs in seven. I think that series is going seven. But let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm not going to give no NBA Finals predictions. Yeah, I will. Why not? Uh, I'm going to say, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave that to y'all to figure out. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Rico McGee. This has been the Sports Minute. And as always, we'll see you in a minute.